Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. <clears throat> thank you for joining us today on this 1 p.m. prayer. We're fasting, we're praying, and it's been glorious. Thank you for sending your testimonies. Your testimonies are proof that God answers prayers. I've been blown away just hearing, just seeing all that the Lord is doing within this couple of days that we've been fasting and praying. Glory to God, glory to God. Welcome. A good thing to type in the comment section is this, that this is my month of wonders. Let's keep declaring that. Let's keep declaring that this month of September is my month of wonders. I become a wonder and the people will wonder about me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Help me share the link with your friends if you're joining. Help me tell me where you're joining from. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Father, we honor your holy name. Father, we honor your holy name. Father, we honor your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Oh, le keso mene koromane kesko loromana katash kelevregede. Today, one of the things we want to thank God for, which is very significant, is this. We want to thank God for the skills that he has given us. If the Lord has given you any kind of skill, he has given you any kind of ability, it's time to thank the Lord for it. Uh, let's go ahead and bless his holy name. Let's go ahead and bless his holy name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I bless your name, O God. Father, thank you for the skills that you have given me. Father, thank you for the skills you have given me. Go ahead and bless his name. Uh, anywhere you are, go ahead and bless his name. Thank you because the skills you've given me. Sombolo mokombro shile menkele mere mene koske brege dile maso bragi ata lavrakata eleshko pratele kasko brege teshene brege tele rebatenge. Father, thank you for the skills and the ability. Thank you for the intelligence you've given me. Thank you for the wisdom you've given me. Thank you for the opportunities you've given me. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. Liko manembre sinle maraba konde raba shanta la raba kumbra sila haya elo broko skolo romo no koro mashingle maranima elekre sili bra. Cabrande Musco Bronde Le Brande Corama Sandla Mianta Ima Sombra Catele Mine Kirushke Veri Basanda Ela Brose Kele Bronske Le Remasham Roma Nakaya Ili Brasombre Catele Bashum de Le Bracata Ima Sombre Kele Romo Socopada In Jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray you are going to begin to declare that the spotlight of god's favor will be upon you that the spotlight of god's favor will be upon you i want to read a scripture to you quickly here oh thank you jesus first samuel chapter 16 and verse 22 oh glory to god if you can share the link with your friends go ahead and share with them first samuel chapter 16 in verse 22 first samuel oh glory to god chapter 16 in verse 22 the Bible says, And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. The king said about David, he said, David has found favor in my sight. It's a declaration. Let the spotlight of God's favor shine upon me. Let the spotlight of God's favor shine upon my works. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I wanted to declare it over yourself. Just like David found favor with Saul, that let the spotlight of God's favor shine upon me. Let's go ahead and pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the spotlight of God's favor shine upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ, it's my prayer that the spotlight of God's favor will shine. It will shine. It will shine. It will shine. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray from Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to pray from Ephesians chapter 3. Type in the comment section. Let the spotlight of of God's favor shine upon me. Let the spotlight of God's favor shine upon me. Can I declare over you today that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, anywhere you go, receive preferential treatment in Jesus' name. The Bible says that 
Saul preferred David, received preferential treatment in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be treated at ordinary. You will not be treated based on your level. You will be treated higher. You will be treated higher. Receive preferential treatment. Treatment of royalty is what we will treat you with in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, the spotlight of God's favor shines upon you today. The spotlight of God's favor shines upon you today. The spotlight of God's favor shines upon you today. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The spotlight, anywhere you step in, anywhere your name is, whatever is connected to you, the spotlight of God's favor shines upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the treatment that men will accord you will be treatment of preference, will be treatment of honor, will be treatment of royalty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will no longer be treated like a, like a commoner. I declare it's a treatment of honor. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Favor brings you into recognition. I'm praying for you. Favor brings you recognition. Favor brings you recognition. In Jesus' mighty name. Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. Verse 16. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. All glory to God. Nima kopo lote kelege de reme kopa romani kata. Apostle wrote in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. He said that God will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. You're going to pray. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to be strengthened with might by the spirit in the inner man. I'm praying for that. That will be strengthened with might in my inner man. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will be strengthened with might in my inner man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not be weak. I will not be tired. I will not be exhausted. I am strengthened with might in my inner man. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. One of the things we declared was that the spotlight of God's favor will shine upon you. I want to declare over you. Favor will bring you attention and publicity that you didn't work for. The favor of God will bring you attention and publicity that you didn't work for. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, where your effort has failed, favor will prevail on your behalf. Where your effort doesn't matter, favor will prevail on your behalf. Where your effort has failed, favor will prevail on your behalf. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, La Poche Palabracataskele Makata, Ena Sonte Legenime Coromo no Cotalia, E Supa Leke Tele Riba Shanta La Rabata, E Mato Coporo Maneke Tusco Regadia, E Mante Kesh Colorobataya, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. At this point, I want us to begin to pray about things that are private to you. I'm going to just be praying and be declaring scriptures. I want to pray about things that are private to you. This is my prayer for you. That every prayer request you have will turn into a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that favor will announce you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, let's go ahead and begin to declare. Go ahead and begin to declare. Begin to pray about your desires. Begin to pray about desires. That your desires are turning to testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your desires are turning to testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. 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 Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says the path of the righteous, like a shining light, it shines brighter and brighter to the perfect gate. You are going to declare, Rabana Kapaya. The rest of this year, it gets better. 
in every way, in every face. The Bible says the path of the righteous is like a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter. Type in the comment section. My path is shining brighter and brighter. Hallelujah. Bragadalika paroma kabregedisko bregedile brakata. Declare with me. Say path is shining brighter and brighter my path is shining brighter and brighter my path is shining brighter and brighter proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 it said the path of the righteous like a shining light you are going to prophesy that with every step i take my life gets brighter my life shines brighter my life gets better my path shines brighter in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you will prophesy that the rest of this year is getting better, it's getting brighter, it's getting better, it's getting brighter, it's getting better, it's getting brighter. It's getting better, it's getting brighter, it's getting better, it's getting brighter in the name of Jesus. Oh my Sapalabara. I want to declare it. Type in the comment section. With every step I take, it's getting brighter and it's getting better. It's getting brighter and it's getting better. I pray for you. Oh, Sute Kemenabratia. That as you have declared with your mouth, as you've typed in the comment section, for you, it will get brighter, it will get Is my audio back? Yeah. Is it back? No, no, no. Is my audio back? No, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Praise God. Is my audio back? All right. I'm sorry, I just took off. I didn't know that I left, I left some people behind. Praise God. Okay, thank you. Thank you, the audio is back. We're going to read from Isaiah chapter 48, verse 3. I'm not sure what part of the prayer you missed out. But let, let, uh, we're going to fill in. Please help me reshare the, let me reshare the link so that people can know that I'm back. Take time and help me reshare the link. Just help me talk about that we're back. You know, hallelujah. One of the prayers I wanted to pray is this. Uh, you know, this prayer is very important to me. I receive courage to take bold steps that will achieve my dreams. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I receive courage to take bold steps that will achieve my dreams. Go ahead and pray. I receive courage to do big things. I receive courage to do big things. I receive courage to do big things. I receive courage to take bold steps in Jesus' mighty name. I receive courage to take bold steps in Jesus' mighty name. I receive courage to take bold steps in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know the steps you need to take. Begin to declare that in the name of Jesus Christ, God has not given the spirit of fear. He said of, of power, of might. I receive courage to do big things. Big things. I receive courage to take
take bold steps in the name of your Christ. Take bold steps in the name of Jesus. Take bold steps. Take bold steps. Take bold steps. I receive courage, 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 courage to take bold steps in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead, go ahead and receive for yourself. I receive courage to take bold steps, bold steps, bold steps. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you today. Receive courage to take bold steps. I don't know the bold steps you have to take, but in the name of Jesus Christ, receive courage to take bold steps. Take bold steps and see massive results. 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 Steps massive results. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, glory to God. I said glory to God. We're going to pl close the prayer from Isaiah chapter 48 verse 3. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 3. It says, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. God said, the things I said, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. You are going to declare every prophetic word about this year. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it to come to pass. Every prophetic word. Some of you, there's a prophetic word on your marriage. There's a prophetic work on your health. In Jesus' name, let the prophetic work happen. Every prophetic word, we declare the fulfillment of every prophetic word. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare the fulfillment of every prophetic word. The prophetic word you carry will not tarry. We declare the fulfillment of every prophetic word. In the name of Jesus Christ, during the season, we declare the fulfillment of every prophetic word. Receive the fulfillment of every prophetic word. I said, receive the fulfillment of every prophetic word in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, yes, thank you, Lord. I'm praying for you today that every word that God has spoken to you, receive the fulfillment. Receive the fulfillment of every prophetic word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the fulfillment of every prophetic word, every prophetic word about your marriage, about your children, about your life, about your papers, about your approvals, about your job. Receive fulfillment today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your testimony in this season will be loud. I don't know if you heard me. I'm talking to someone by the Spirit. Your testimony in this season will be loud. It will be loud and shocking. Your testimony in this season will be loud and shocking. The power of God will prevail on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God will prevail on your behalf. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this blessed you, let me know. If you have a testimony, send it to me. Because your testimony will be loud in this season. It will prevail. It will prevail in Jesus' name. You can share with your friends at midst of the prayer session. Thank you for joining. God bless you and have a beautiful day.